Hey everybody, it's the Burger Dude, and today I want to show you how I make a California cheesesteak. This is based off a California burrito which has fries, carne asada, cheese, guacamole, and sour cream, only it's in cheesesteak form. And this is less of a recipe and more of me just having fun in the kitchen and in the process probably pissing off a lot of people from Philadelphia and San Diego, but who cares, the sandwich was super delicious, so let's get it going. We're gonna start off with our vegan meat. We've got these Gardein home-style beefless tips, but you can also use some Beyond Meat or any old plant-based meat that you like. Just make sure you freeze it, cut it into strips, and you're gonna cook and chop it up to your desired size. You don't want it to be totally frozen. You just want it to be firm enough that when you slice it, it'll retain its shape. So go ahead and choose your fighter. And in the meantime, we're gonna get our guacamole ready. So I've got an avocado here and I wanted to show you all how big that pit was. And that means bad luck. And there's proof right there. Cause the first thing I did was I dropped my avocado and didn't get it in the bowl. So I think that's scientifically proving that a big pit will give you bad luck, but it's all right. We're gonna season this with some garlic salt. Then we're also gonna hit it with a little bit of lime juice. And that's it, that is the three ingredients that I use for my guacamole. I'm gonna mash it up with this potato masher. And these things are very handy. They can do more than just mashed potatoes as you can see here. So just go ahead and mash it to your desired consistency. I like mine to be a little bit chunky. And then go ahead and give that a taste. And I decided mine needed a little bit more garlic salt. And in addition to that, I'm also gonna add a little bit of this chipotle powder. Give it a little smoky and a little bit of spice. Mix that up again, give it a taste, and once it tastes good to you, go ahead and set it aside in the refrigerator. And then we're gonna pull out a little bit of vegan butter and we're just gonna let that sit at room temperature to get nice and soft. And while that's happening, we're gonna get an onion. And if you can get one of these cool new onions, they explode and chop themselves. Otherwise, you're gonna go ahead and just have to do it the old fashioned way. And next up, we got our plant-based meat, the Gardein beefless tips. And I'm gonna go ahead and give these a good chop. And if I could do this over again, I wouldn't let them thaw all the way because as you can see here, they're kind of sticky and they're just making my life a little bit harder than it needs to be. So ideally, these are still a little bit frozen so that when you slice into them, they don't stick to the knife. But you know, I made it work. I figured it out. It's not a big deal. So once you got those all chopped up, we're gonna get that butter, should be nice and soft. Get a clove of garlic and we're gonna just press that into the butter to make a nice garlic butter. And if you don't wanna use fresh garlic, you can totally use garlic salt. You know, if you wanna be lazy like I usually am, this is actually the first time I ever did this. I gotta say, it's worth it. You know, the, the trouble of pressing one clove of garlic is actually worth it. So once you got that, go ahead and get your hoagie roll and make sure you split it, but don't go all the way through. You wanna leave it so that it has a hinge that holds it together. And now we're gonna spread our delicious garlic butter on there. And we're essentially turning this into garlic bread, which is probably the best sandwich bread you can have. So grill that on a pan in medium heat until it looks nice and golden brown like that. And then set that aside while we cook our onions. So over medium heat with some oil, go ahead and add your onions to the pan. And we're just gonna cook these until they're nice and golden brown. We don't need to caramelize them. Add some salt to help them along. And this is gonna take, you know, I don't know, eight to 10 minutes or so. And once they look nice and golden brown like that, let's scooch them to one side of the pan. And in the meantime, we're gonna get our French fries going. So I like to do these in the air fryer. It's a lot faster than in the conventional oven. So if you have an air fryer, I highly recommend it. Add them to your air fryer and then we're gonna give them a spritzin of some cooking spray. And then we're gonna shake them and then give them another spray, shake and spray. And once that's done, we're gonna season them with some good old Lowry seasoned salt, which is pretty dynamite on French fries. So if you haven't tried it, I highly suggest giving that a go. Give them a good old shake one last time, and then we're gonna add them to the air fryer and cook them at 380 Fahrenheit for about six minutes. And then you're gonna flip and repeat once that's done. And while the fries are cooking, let's get back to our skillet. And we're gonna lay down a little bit more oil, and now we're gonna add our plant-based meat to the grill. And now all we wanna do is just get this nice and cooked through, and we wanna see some good browning on the plant-based meat that we've got down here. So cook it over medium heat. We can add some carne asada sauce like that, or we could add some dry rub, which is what I'm gonna do. And if you can't find this stuff, you could use taco seasoning or just make a blend of chili powder and cayenne and cumin. You can really just kind of have fun with it. And once they look very delicious like that, I mean, gosh darn it, look at that. No reason to eat animals anymore. Look what we got as vegans. But anyways, once it looks like that, go ahead and add the onions back in and let those guys hang out, get to know one another. 
once you got them thoroughly mixed, let's go ahead and scooch out some portions that are about the size of our sandwich bread. And go ahead and use your bread to make sure, as I did right there. And now we're gonna add some vegan cheese so that we can get it to melt. I'm adding one and a half slices per mound of meat. I don't know what, how I would describe that. We're gonna add a little bit of water and then cover to melt the cheese. So after a couple minutes, voila, melted cheese. And now you're basically done. All you gotta do is assemble the sandwich and then it's party time. So we're gonna get one of our rolls that we set aside and I'm gonna add a little bit of this vegan sour cream that I love by Kite Hill. But go ahead and use whatever you like. You know, you could use vegan mayo or, you know, aioli, whatever you like. You can totally customize this to your preferences. Next up, we're gonna give a good slathering of our guacamole followed by our French fries, which should be done by now. And make sure you get plenty of fries in there. And then just add in your cheesy meat and you're done. Now it's time to, we're gonna go ahead and slice one of these dudes up and give it a go. And man, watching this, you know, I, I filmed this yesterday and so I'm watching this now and I'm jealous of my past self because this was without a doubt, one of the best sandwiches I've had in a long time. It really was a California burrito in sandwich form. That's, there's really no two ways about it. And to be honest, it didn't really need anything, but if I could go back in time, I might add some pico de gallo or some hot sauce. But like I said, it was pretty dynamite. I mean, that's kind of why I didn't do it. I just started chowing down and didn't even think about it. Look at that bite right there with all the cheese and the meat, the French fries sticking out, just saying, bite me. That's what it's saying right there, bite me. So I did, I bit it. You could also go this route and make some California fries. I'll go ahead and leave a link to my cheese sauce recipe in the description, as well as a link right here. But honestly, I really do think you should try it as a cheese stick. I mean, look at this thing. You got the French fries, you got the meat, you got the cheese, you got the guacamole, the sour cream all on a hoagie roll. It is one of the most amazing sandwiches I've ever had, and I'm pretty darn sure it'll be one of the most amazing sandwiches you ever had. So if you do make it, please let me know how it went. I hope you're all doing great, and I'll see you next week.